In this video, let us see how to calculate the process capability indices for a variable that has data that is not normally distributed. Let's say we have absolutely no idea what the distribution is. So we can actually use jump to figure out the best fitting and then get the capability indices. So in order to do that, you open the distribution platform. And here in this example, concentration is the variable that I'm interested in. I add that as a Y column and create the histogram. Uh, and uh, then uh, here, uh, so what we can do is uh, you can choose the uh, red triangle option here, go to continuous fit and then say fit all. So when you do this, uh, jump automatically tries to fit all the various uh, uh, distributions that are available. And here you can see that uh, Jump has identified Weibull uh, as the best fit for uh, this particular data. And now we can use Weibull uh, distribution and find the uh, process capability and performance indices. So now uh, another thing is similar to the normal quantile plot in order to know if Weibull is the best fit, you can actually get the QQ or the quantile quantile plot. Uh, you can do that by uh, choosing the red triangle from the fitted variable distribution here. And uh, then uh, you can say diagnostic plots and then QQ plots. So here you can see that uh, most of the points over here are more or less on the same line, uh, which says that variable distribution is more or less a good fit for this data. Now, in order to uh, get the uh, process capability report, uh, you can click on the same uh, red triangle option here and then say process capability. So here in this example, there is no lower spec limit, but there is a target value and there is an upper spec limit. And uh, then uh, once you do that, you can just say, okay. So now you can see that jump has uh, estimated the uh, various reports. Um, and here uh, you can see that there is process summary and then uh, overall sigma or it's uh, based on uh, the capability indices have been calculated based on uh, long-term standard deviation. And here you can notice that in this example, PP has not been calculated uh, because we don't have a lower spec limit. And here from the non-conformance report, you can see that 2% uh, of the values are outside the upper spec limit.